Okay, this is part D, part two. So square root of two times two is two square root of two. Then we have square root of two times square root of two is square root of, oh, let me move this up. Square root of four. Then square root of 10 times two is two square root of 10. Then a square root of 10 times square root of two is square root of 20. Now, I cannot simplify this because 2 doesn't have a perfect square, so I'll just write it down. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 squared of 10 can't do anything with because 10 doesn't have a square in it. But 20 is uh, 4 times 5. And the square root of 4 is 2. Okay. Don't look at these down here. I'm just wanting you to do one row at a time. Go ahead, do those two problems. Okay, well, three square root of three. Well, there's not much to that. And then three square root of six. Well, not much to that. And then square root of three times square root of three is square root of nine. And square root of three times square root of six is square root of 18. I'm about to lose my voice. So 3 squared of 3 can't do anything with, 3 squared of 6 can't do anything with. But square root of 9 is the number 3. And 18 is 9 and 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. We just said that. But 2 I can't do anything with. Now this one. Oh, I got a square on a sum, so I got to write it twice. That makes it nice. So 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, 2 times square root of 6 is 2 square root of 6. Then we got 2 square root of 6 again. And square root of 6, square root of 6, that'd be square root of 36. You just multiply the underneath. Now square root of 36 is the number 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. And 2 square root of 6 plus 2 square root of 6 is 4 square root of 6. Hopefully you're getting it right. Hopefully you're doing a little bit better. Now, oh, these are easy. 2, 3, 5, and 6 cannot have a, a perfect, it uh, does not have a perfect square in it. So you just multiply the top and the bottom. Oops. By that number. So it'll be square root of 2 over square root of 4. Which is square root of 2 over 2. This one would be square root of 3 by over square root of 3. So it's a square root of 3 over square root of 9. Which is square root of 3 over 3. Yes! Oh, this is a little bit harder. Square root of 5 over square root of 5. So it's 10 square root of 5 over square root of 25 which is 10 square root of five, let me move this up, over five, five goes into 10 twice, so it's two square root of five. Then this is square root of six over square root of six, so it'll be three square root of six over square root of 36. Square root of 36 is six, so it's square root of six over two. Ooh, ooh, big review here. Okay, do those four problems. Okay, so 20. All right, let me get on the book. So, okay, you got them. So 20, uh, I'm going to simplify this. 20 is 4 and 5. Oh, I'm making a mess here. So this would be 1 over the 2 square root of 5, because square root of 4 is 2. So the 2 is okay. I'm going to simplify this by multiplying the top and the bottom by square root of 5. So it's square root of 5 over 2 square root of 25. So it's square root of 5 over square root of 25 is 5, times 2 is 10. Then this one, let's simplify. 8 is 4 times 2. So this would be 1 over 2 square root of 2. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom 
by square root of 2. So it's square root of 2 over 3 square root of 4. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so it would be square root of 2 over 6. Square root of 4 is 2 times 3 is 6. This one, 9 and 3. Oops. So it would be um, 1 over 3 square root of 3, because square root of 9 is 3, but I still have this left over. So, the 3 outside the square root is okay. So, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by square root of 3. So, it will be square root of 3 over 3 square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3 times 3 is uh, 9. Woohoo! And the last one, 18 is 9 and 2. So, I'm going to simplify this to 1 over Square root of 9 is 3, and the 2 is left over, so I multiply top and bottom by square root of 2. So it'll be square root of 2 over uh, square root of 2, square root of 2, square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, these are the harder ones. So you just multiply by the same thing, but you switch the middle sign. Boy, my voice is about gone. I apologize. So distribute, it's 2 minus square root of 5. Now foil it out. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 5 is 0. And square root of 5, negative square root of 5 is negative square root of 25. So it would be 2 minus square root of 5 over 4 minus 5. Because square root of 25 is 5. And 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So this one. 3 plus square root of 2. 3 plus square root of 2. Just switch the middle sign. So it's 3 plus square root of 2. Excuse me, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 3 squared to 2, plus 3 squared to 2, the middle stuff drops out. And then minus the square root of 4, because square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. So we have 3 plus square root of 2 over square root of 4 is 2, so 9 minus 2 is 7. And last but not least, we have 5 minus square root of 3. We're going to multiply by, just multiply by the same thing, but switch the middle sign. So it'll be 5 minus square root of 3. Over there. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 square root of 3 minus 5 square root of 3 is 0. Opposites. Opposites. Oui, oui, mon sorry. So then we go square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is minus square root of 9. So 5 minus square root of 3 over 25 minus square root of 9 is 3. 25 minus 3 is 22. Not easy problems. Not easy problems. Okay. So, once you're done with this, I want you to go to Schoology, and there'll be a worksheet there for you to do, which is due tomorrow. I am checking it. It is due tomorrow. Let me say this one more time. It's due tomorrow. So, let's get started on it now, please, if there's any time left in class, and I'll look at it at the start of class. Thank you very much.